Hey everyone, this is Ed Brzee with Boomer Tech Adventures. This video tutorial demonstrates Zoom, Z-O-O-M, a video conferencing or video calling system. With the pandemic and people working and staying at home, we are using video calling all the time. Video calling has exploded and Zoom is one of the most used systems. Apple users, of course, connect with other Apple users uh, with FaceTime, which is part of the Apple ecosystem, whether on your iPhone, your iPad, or your Mac computer. We demonstrated FaceTime in a previous video that you can also find on our YouTube channel. But if you want to connect with others on Android or other phones or PCs, not Mac computers, Zoom is an excellent video conferencing system to use. Zoom is easy to use, has some key features that we'll talk about, and many school and business applications, as well as home applications. A couple quick examples. You've been hearing a lot about Zoom the past couple of months. Zoom business meetings, Zoom birthday parties, Zoom happy hours, Zoom board game nights. Well, you get the idea. And our church uses Zoom to live stream Sunday services with 100 people attending. So it's very versatile and can be used in lots of different ways. Now, let's look at how to set it up and use it on your computer, laptop or desktop. Then later in this video, I'll demonstrate what it looks like on an iPhone or iPad. Okay, now we're going to look at how to set up Zoom and use it on your computer. One of the reasons Zoom is so popular is that it is easy to use. If you're invited to join a Zoom meeting or event, the host sends you an email with a clickable link that takes you directly into the meeting. If you want to host or begin a Zoom meeting, you need to have the Zoom app on your computer. On your laptop, you can download the app from the Zoom website. Here on my dock, you can see the Zoom icon right here. When I hover over it, it says zoom.us, and that's how it will show up. That's its website. Uh, the blue icon with the screen recording, uh, the screen recorder uh, facing right. On your laptop, you can download the app from the Zoom website. Make sure to pay attention and sign up for either the Apple operating system or the Windows operating system, depending on the type of computer you have. The first time you open Zoom, you will set up your account with a username and password. You may also have the option of using your Google account or Facebook account to sign in. When you are ready to open Zoom, which we're doing right now, I'm going to tap the Zoom icon, and you will have several choices. As you can see, a new meeting, and that means start a new meeting, join a meeting, schedule, or share screen. These icons are, are the same on any Apple uh, device. So when we get to the iPhone and the iPad in just a couple minutes, you'll see these same, uh, same icons. If you are initiating the video call, like we're going to do right now, tap New Meeting. And then you can see a picture of me. Make sure that you have the video on. We're going to go down to the lower left hand corner and the important thing is not seeing me on this video, hi, but to see the controls across the bottom. In the lower left hand corner, make sure your audio and video are active and watch what happens when I click on, on mute. It'll have the red line through it. That means that um, I'm muted now. No one else can hear me on the call. And similarly, when I hit stop video, it'll put a red line through the icon and you see a picture of me instead of the live video. We'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm gonna just leave the, the picture of me up. Uh, so the icons for the microphone and video are very important. As I click them, I turn them on and off. And it's very important that you pay attention to these audio and video controls so you can be seen and heard. Uh, because your host may have muted you and anyone else entering a meeting or call or stopped your video, video always check to see if you are muted 
or your screen is stopped. So that's you can control that and, and see what's happening. Look in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen to turn on and off, as I said. And I'm uh, hovering my cursor here. Video again, turning it back on, turning it off again, and then the same thing with mute. Um, other controls you should know about include chat and share screen. Um, we're going to hold on participants for a minute. Here's chat. When I open up chat, it gives you a chat box uh, and it says to everyone and I can type a message here. And I just uh, hit that and that goes out to everyone in the chat. Now they need to pay attention to their chat box, but I can also, if there was someone else on this call, which there isn't, I can change it from to everyone to to a particular person. And this is handy not to send notes during a meeting. Well, it is handy to send notes during a meeting, not the, not the kind of notes that are disrupting from the meeting, but maybe some kind of clarification. So that's chat, that's very helpful. And then another one to go back to the controls again at the bottom is the share screen button. And um, you can see that there's several other possibilities up here. I don't have any other screens open right now, but if I did, for example, let's say I had a Google Doc open, um, you could see whatever I had written on the Google Doc, or you have a whiteboard which you can actually use and draw on. I'm not going to do that right now, but that's very handy. So you can share screens and see from each other. You are now ready to participate as an invitee to, to a meeting. Um, you've got all the basic kinds of information. You've done everything you need to do. You've started uh, your video. Um, you've unmuted yourself if that's appropriate. Um, by the way, once you're in here, here, and I'll go back and turn this back on so you can see me. Um, up here, you will see if other people were in the, in the um, meeting, in this meeting, you will see other people's pictures, little thumbnails up there. Um, people who have joined the video call, um, and there's a gallery view there, and you can also spotlight single people as speakers so your focus is on them. Now, let's say you're the host of the call and want to invite others. If you are initiating a video call, tap on the participants icon. Let's go back to the participants icon here. I'm going to do that at the bottom of your screen. When you do, a white box will op open that says invite on the lower left-hand corner. And I just tap invite. And here I can... I'm going to invite people by email. Um, I'll just, in my case, I'll just hit Gmail because that's what I use. And that would open up a, um, a message. Actually, let's do that. It uh, opens up in, in Gmail the opportunity to invite people. And then it also sends, then you've got all the information right here. It says join Zoom meeting and that'll be a clickable link. It's got other information on the meeting ID and password, which is really not applicable at this point. But really, all someone else needs is this clickable link where it says join Zoom meeting right here. And I would send that out. So if you are initiating a video call, tap on the participants icon. Let's just go back through that. There we go. And hit invite and then invite them through email. And on the other end, then they will have received your email with a message with a link to tap to begin the Zoom call on their end. To schedule a meeting, here we go right here. If you want to schedule a meeting ahead of time, um, for example, you know next Tuesday you want to have a Zoom meeting or a Zoom call with your family and you can schedule it and set it up. You can schedule it for the exact time and do the same thing and send that out to everybody so that they have the link ahead of time and so everybody's on the same schedule. So that's pretty much how it works on the laptop. Okay, let's look at Zoom on your iPad or your iPhone. I'm using my iPad here to demo but the iPhone is essentially the same. 
The process and the icons are almost identical to those we just saw on my laptop, but there are some small choices and they may look a little bit different. So the first thing you will have done already is to go to the App Store and select the app that says Zoom Cloud Meetings. It's a free app. Tap the blue Zoom app that's right here on my screen, which I'm doing, and select New Meeting, which I'm going to do. And you'll see you recognize these icons from the laptop. New Meeting, Join, which means Join a Meeting in Progress, Schedule, or share screen, and I'm going to start a new meeting. And I always want to make sure that a video is on, which it is, and I'm going to start a meeting. It'll say call using internet audio, which I'm going to do, and we're ready to go. And if I hold the, that's scary, if I hold my iPad up like that, you can see that it's, that it's me. One of the first things I'm going to do is to stop my video and you'll see a picture of me instead. As you look at the screen, right now I can, I, you're not seeing me and I'm not seeing me, just a picture of me. You'll see the same controls, when it, but I have to tap the screen. And it, it, it's a drop down menu from the top, as you can see, and they will go away after a while. So let's look at, at several of these. And on the iPad, these uh, controls obviously are in the top. And, and the, on the iPhone, they're on the, the bottom, but it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. They're the same, same controls anyway. In the upper right-hand corner, we have mute. Um, I've uh, stopped my video already. You can see it's got the line through it and it's red. I'll do the same to mute. Share content. It says share content here instead of share screen on the laptop. Let's skip participants for a minute and we'll go to more, which means more options. And I tapped the three dots and, and this brought up several things like the uh, reactions or gestures, the hand clapping and the thumbs up. Uh, chat, if I tap chat, that will bring up a chat box and we talked about how that works so that you can uh, discuss uh, with someone during the um, during the Zoom video. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I'm gonna go back to the more and what other things. There's some meeting settings in here and a couple other things. And you can also record, yeah, the Zoom meeting. And that's, that's very helpful so that others can simply look at it after you're done. You don't have to redo it. So let's go back to participants. So those are just several things to look at. So I'm gonna tap on participants and this brings up the invite or the invitation at the bottom of the screen, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner of the white box right here. And if I open that up, um, then it gives me an option to send an email to do an invite. The, other, the thing I like about the iPad or the iPhone is you can also send a text message. And that will allow you... Um, to get to people a little easier. On the laptop, the only way you can get to people pretty much is through um, an email, so they have to know it's coming. But a text message is a little handier. So let me just open that up again. I'm in participants, and that opens up and in the invitation uh, which you can use. Of course, once others enter, I'll get rid of that, once others enter the Zoom meeting, you'll see them at the top of your screen above my picture, or, or if I was back live here, it'll be at the top of your screen. Um, you can end the meeting in the upper left-hand corner on the iPad. It says end meeting, and I'll do that, and then that comes up and it says end meeting or leave meeting. If you're the host, you need to end the meeting um, because you're the person shutting it down. So, okay, that's how Zoom works on a Mac, iPhone, and iPad. It's pretty, pretty easy after a little practice. Let's review several features, some I have mentioned earlier, and I'm gonna go back up here. I'm just gonna touch that, and then I'm gonna start video, and then if I hold it back, you can actually see me. I don't want to scare you, so I'm going to put that back on stop video. 
as I finish up. So always check to make sure that those are on or off, the audio and video, at appropriate times. If you are on a call with a large number of people, you may want to click video off so a photo of you like this comes up in place of live video. And generally in large groups, muting your audio is a good idea until you, until you need to say something to the group. And chat on the iPad and the iPhone is under the more button. And that brings up the chat window, the chat box. You also have a, just a reminder, you also have share content and you can share your screen, whatever you have on your screen, whether that's a document or a keynote presentation, but you can also share photos and, and information from all of these different uh, places, which is very handy. And the last one is the, is the whiteboard. On your computer, it says share screen. On your iPhone or iPad, it's called shared content, but it's really this, the same thing. In either case, it allows you to share from photos, Google Drive, bookmarks, and the rest of those that you just saw. Uh, you can also record. Uh, the, the host of your meeting can set to record this meeting event so others can watch it after the fact. I'm going to end this meeting, and we're going to just go back out and take a look at these um, essential icons. There's also something called virtual background that I'm not going to go into, which is just it allows you to use some pre-selected uh, backgrounds that they give you, like a beach or a mountain scene, or you can select your own photo. And this is kind of, kind of primarily for fun. And then we just saw the end or leave meeting. Remember, people you invite don't have to have the Zoom app to receive your invite and participate. But anyone hosting a meeting or a video call must have the Zoom app. Several more details, just quickly. The basic free plan allows you to have one meeting at a time with up to 100 participants and lasting 40 minutes. Some of these details are changing even as we speak because of so many using and wanting to use um, Zoom as a video calling system during the, the pandemic. Other paid plans allow for more concurrent meetings, more people, and longer meeting times and the ability to do different things with, um, uh, with the, the Zoom. For basic home and family use, I, we really recommend, we suggest that the free plan is all you need as you learn to use Zoom. Give it a try. We have Boomer Tech Adventures has a great blog post written by Jill Spencer on using Zoom that'll go along very nicely with this video. And we'll link that um, on our YouTube channel. This is Ed Brzee for Boomer Tech Adventures. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next video.